so prayer for the believer is not just an activity that has been endorsed by spiritual leaders it's not just um, a dimension that was demanded for from scripture it is more than an opportunity to petition God it is more than an opportunity to um, um, call for help from heaven priesthood is a ministry say unto Archippus that you take charge of the ministry that thou has received from the Lord that thou fulfill it so the prayer ministry of the believer is priesthood are we together now this is very very important the church has been on a season of fast and prayer and just feasting on the word this is this is an engineering to bring stability to our priesthood so that through the ministry of fasting the ministry of prayer and engaging the word that every believer comes to a point where we are solid we are stable and we are strong this is a very very noble pursuit and this happens year in year out everybody thank say you prayer. for watching christian house one more channel. time please say prayer in luke chapter 18 verse 1 just touch a few scriptures and then i just build and will pray jesus spake a parable the bible says to the end that men ought always to pray that means you are only exempted from prayer if you are not a man provided you are a man prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is not for men of god prayer is for men he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint first thessalonians 5 17 the bible says pray without season it doesn't mean pray from morning to night it means be consistent be consistent in your prayer life james 5 when you read from verse 13 down the bible says is any man afflicted he says let him pray then the bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much are we together and then the bible now uses a personality to personify the ministry of prayer it says elijah was a man of like passion and that he prayed earnestly over a space of three and a half years that there be no rain and then there was no rain and he prayed again and rain came that means there was nothing special as it were about elijah except that when he stepped into that dimension of priesthood he functioned like god are we together now this is very very important prayer is important one time jesus was with the disciples and having a conversation with peter he rebuked peter and said peter satan desired to sift you like wheat he didn't say i advised you he didn't say i counsel you so instability is remedied by prayer he has desired to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not he says when you are converted use this same strategy to strengthen your brethren that means when you see them swaying is proof that something is happening to their priesthood you must get them back to the point where they pray that men ought always to pray and not to faint that men ought always to pray and not to faint that men ought always to pray and not to faint one of the dominion systems allocated for the saints is the ministry of prayer it's a principle of spiritual legislature god gave us authority listen very carefully over principalities and powers and so on and so forth listen a believer who does not pray will not be able to walk in the full expression of the counsel of god this is true for many reasons number one because god gave man a will this is very important one of the fundamental things there are seven fundamental things god gave man not a believer man as the zenith of his creation one of it is the power to choose are we together i said before you blessing and cursing life and death i only advise you i will not force you so god gave man the power to choose the power to choose mandates that you must always god cannot assume that you need his assistance god cannot assume that you need help god cannot assume that you need the intervention of heaven you must verbalize your request you must verbalize your need you invite god to your life on legal basis even salvation is not imparted outside of your will 
he loves you and he's made the way but he will allow your desire and your hunger to call upon him the lord is nigh them that call upon him not them that need him them that call upon him are we together please so the fact that god gave man a will he is ever ever respectful of that will i can choose to ignore god i can choose as an act of my volition that lord i'm not interested in your program for my life and he will honor it at the expense of the eternal destiny of many god still allows them to declare their need for him there are people going to hell every day in spite of the fact that the substitutionary sacrifice of christ is a done deal are we together this is very very powerful prayer is important your priesthood is important because it is the system that outsources strength from a dimension that is not earthly number two prayer is the highest proof of humility because it's proof that you acknowledge you're incapacitated in yourself prayerlessness is pride when people are prayerless it is because they have found a way to flatter themselves into believing that outside of god they are still sufficient apostle paul was teaching us and he says we do not claim to be sufficient in ourselves he said he said our sufficiency is of god who has made us abled ministers when i go to god in prayer is a declaration of humility is proof that i need him is proof that i'm not trivializing his relevance in my life hallelujah we must pray as proof of humility the third reason why we must pray is that prayer is a spiritual system of transporting realities from the realm of the spirit to this realm it's a dominion system it's a system of spiritual legislature paul was giving us the the revelation on how spiritual things happen in hebrews chapter 11 the bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for he calls it the evidence of things not seen are we still together he says for by it this faith this technology the elders obtained a good report and then verse 3 says through faith we understand that the cosmos the worlds were framed by the word of god okay now this is a technology so that things which are seen were not made of things which appear that means the mother that gives birth to the realm of the spirit or the physical realm is the realm of the spirit that everything that appears comes from a realm and a dimension that is higher than this realm listen believers please listen listen everything you need everything you imagine is only possible because it already exists what you call creation is only creation from this realm from the standpoint of the spirit is only transportation now this this is the basis upon which your faith is built so you are not hoping things will happen it's already a reality you only call it creation when it manifests in the earth realm but just because you have not seen it does not mean it does not exist the bible says why we look at the things which are seen or why we look not at the things which are seen but the things which are unseen unseen not unreal unseen just because your eyes cannot capture it in your space does not mean it's not there everything you are looking for is also looking for you there is a system to be able to transport it to your domain the ability to make what is far from you come to you is dominion are we together that the opportunity the open door the influence that is far from me i sustain an intelligence to compress time and bring it to myself thank you for now watching that's real House dominion Channel. because everything we need for life and godliness has been provided for the bible did not say it was is within your domain but it's in the earth you must sustain the intelligence to draw things from wherever they are that was the morale of the miracle of the bones in ezekiel 37 it was a revelation to show you that the concept of distance is relative that there is a technology that can bring things that are apart and make sense of them are we blessed 
the principle of spiritual legislature that means i don't need to feel bad about what is not there there is an intelligence in the place of prayer i can call a helper in the place of prayer i can call opportunities i can create possibilities i can from the standpoint there it's true this is how the great rise it is vain to run away to pursue things individually you can coordinate them like a control room in the place of prayer knowing listen very carefully knowing that every physical thing every including men are only listen very carefully every physical thing in the earth is a reflection of what controls it are we together please let me have one person any one person at all come sir if this man comes to me to bless me hold this and give it to me if this man comes to me to bless me you think he just came he may even think he just came but the realm of the spirit says nobody just comes now listen very carefully it's impossible for him to just come because a body without a spirit is dead there must be an agency so i have sustained an advantage to manipulate possibilities to my domain without forcing them i can make this man bless me without manipulating him because i can talk to the father of spirits the father abba the owner the controller the manipulator of every spirit sit down are we together so this man comes he can leave and i don't feel sad because i can make him come again thy kingdom your influence favor lifting speed so in the place of prayer you coordinate these possibilities as though in a control room and you are there manipulating things and you come out and play life like a chess and you watch possibilities arrange themselves listen i'm not trying to motivate you this is priesthood the excellency the advantage of your being connected to the spirit is seen at the point of priesthood you define your possibilities hello him adonai thy kingdom come Thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Listen. The priesthood ministry of the believer allows you to define the possibilities that you desire to be in your life you see the realm of the spirit is like an actor script that is unedited it takes your priesthood to choose which scenes you you know how you act a film a movie there are all kinds of scenes at the point of acting but when the movie is released you don't see some scenes again prayer gives you the opportunity to select what must manifest in the realm of the spirit destruction is a possibility in the realm of the spirit speed is a possibility in the realm of the spirit delay is a possibility in prayer you have the opportunity to rise to a dimension and select the truths that are consistent with the character of scripture and allow this is what it means to bind and lose to allow for possibilities that must happen and it so happens that after a period of time if you do not select life was mandated to select for you and it's dangerous to outsource selection that is out of you will select things that you do not want to see priesthood hallelujah thank you sir the final reason i'll give it to you very quickly you won't believe that i've not even touched on what i want to share at all just no 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 we'll, we'll walk with time praise god now please look up the final reason why we must pray is found it's a very strange scripture that not many people um not many people look at 
first thessalonians chapter 2 please from verse 18 paul was teaching the church in thessalonica he was showing them a very powerful mystery read it with me if you're a christian one to read please uh-huh one more time please once and again meaning i tried and tried again wherefore your favor would have come to you he tried once and again but satan hindered us wherefore your testimony would have happened since last year march but once and again a system of resistance the bible is not silent as to the fact that we are not alone in this side of god's kingdom the bible is not silent as to the fact that there are operations of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of the saints paul took time to give us a sound theological exegesis theologically speaking the book of ephesians is believed to be the zenith of paul's apostolic ministry and he showed us the the strategy to ward off the arsenals of darkness are we together now wherefore we would have come we would have come your breakthrough your lifting the manifestation of prophecy but satan hindered us the bible lets us know that satan is not afraid to arise and challenge believers it is true from scripture that Satan is bold enough to challenge every word that God communicates to a believer. In fact, the Bible shows us the, the operation of Satan in a very instructive way. Jesus is done fasting. Look up please brothers and sisters. I think I've shared it here somewhere. Jesus is done fasting and the first person he meets after his version of wine press is not his disciples, it's Satan satan is patient with jesus and after 40 days imagine the word the logos of god with the holy ghost in him and on him anointed without measure now prays to fast for 40 days this spiritual combination and the first person he sees is satan and satan is not shaking and falling under the anointing satan is standing in front of jesus and he's the first to broker a conversation Turn this stone to bread and the word is spoken. Now this is Rema and Satan does not fall. He does not run away. Now I'm not downplaying the power of God. I'm showing you something that should challenge you. What exactly is Satan afraid of? Because the word is there. The spirit is there. The anointing is there. Faith-filled utterances are there and Satan is still standing. Then Satan takes it to another dimension. He holds the hand of Jesus and takes him to a high mountain. You are holding the word filled with the spirit and dragging him. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai. Thy kingdom come. Listen to me. Everything good is why Satan will come to you. Satan has no business coming to you until he sees that the jealousy of God has been invested towards your destiny. He is looking for everything God wants. When God looks at you, he wants to know why. When God zooms his attention on your family, he wants to know why. Satan is threatened every time he sees the direction of god towards you i have loved you with an everlasting love i have drawn you with my loving kindness the moment jesus was born the spirit of the antichrist began to move through people to look for him to kill him he became uneasy the day a declaration came from heaven this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him satan never looked for anybody again including barabbas he left Barabbas quietly because he was looking for a man who was a representation of God in the earth. Please listen to me very carefully. 
it is important to pray because it is at the point of priesthood that we we establish victory experientially hebrews chapter 2 from verse 5 paul was putting a very strong balance he was bringing the the psalm of david about man and he was teaching us something that we must understand for unto the angels are he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak verse 6 please but in a certain place he testified saying what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that thou visitest him seven but thou hast made him lower than elohim the word there is elohim god himself not just angels thou crownest him with glory and honor listen and thou didst set him over the work of thy hands verse 8 thou hast put all things where in subjection under his feet for in that he put all things in subjection under him he left nothing this is the speakings of god you see how Thank god you speaks for watching he House left channel. nothing that is not put under him but come back to this realm now we do not yet see all things reality is finished from god's standpoint but in experience we do not yet see it so priesthood becomes the bridge between prophecy and experience that that which is finished can find expression to become manifest hallelujah it is true that when you live your life barren of priesthood you may never never see in experience the salvation of god so jesus himself would get up early and go to pray the logos of god prayed the logos of god prayed he prayed every day he prayed every time even at his passion he prayed my house shall be called the house of prayer the house of priesthood not just the house of fellowship not just the house of teaching my house shall be called the house of prayer it was whilst the apostles prayed and fasted then the holy ghost spoke unto them and said separate me paul and barnabas we must pray because there are arsenals of darkness that continue to wage war against the victory of the saints and prayer becomes the platform to ward off these operations of darkness when you study the book of acts the bible tells us that one time james was beheaded herod beheaded james and it pleased the jews and then he caught peter and peter was kept he was bound hand in chain and then he was uh, there were all kinds of military people around but the bible says the church prayed the moment the church prayed the bible records that an angel came and when he came he tapped peter picked peter and begin and, and, and he began to walk him out until he got to the iron gates that led to the city and then peter was thinking he was in a vision until he got back prayer when done with understanding is powerful we're talking of priesthood here is god blessing anybody yes one day things will change is a joke it will take priesthood to manipulate possibilities and turn your night to day time does not change anything time only reveals it will take your insistence in fact here's how the bible puts it resist the devil resist the devil he will not flee because he wants to there is a resistance i desire to come to you once and again even i paul but satan hindered us i hate to be a bearer of bad news but just because prophecy comes does not mean it will manifest this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you war a good warfare with the prophecy 
with the prophecy with the prophecy the word of god has come upon my life this year that i am the head and not the tail i understand there is a devil somewhere who will want to take advantage of my background he will want to take advantage of the fact that my family is not connected to influential people to manipulate me but i stand in the position of priesthood to veto those disadvantages that's prayer that's priesthood many believers pray but few believers understand priesthood most of our prayers for many believers is just full of wise sayings and all kinds of things god why me that's not prayer are we together heaven helps those who um, help themselves that's that's not you see some of those things are very emotional things but they are, that's not prayer there are times that you will need to stand like habakkuk and pray stand upon your watch set yourself upon the tower you can know when things begin to go in a way and manner that is not consistent with the character of the christ that's not the time to discuss that's not the time to hope even if you don't know what is going on you filter the error you filter what is happening is in the place of prayer you will gain clarity the Bible says one time the apostle, listen very carefully, that the apostle had escaped from um, the island called Melita. Remember, he told the people there shall be no loss. And then the Bible says that the ship went and settled in an island called Melita. And when they came out because it was cold, they were trying to enjoy the fire. And the Bible says he was there with them and a viper. The viper was hiding, but it was the fire that made the viper come out. The viper was there in the log, but it was hiding. So when that prayer comes, it can mount pressure on the viper to reveal itself. The devil can be hiding around your finances, hiding around your family. It will take fire upon that wood to reveal the viper. Is God speaking to us? Priesthood. When believers do not understand this idea of priesthood they become weak they continue to hope that things will happen they continue to write down prophecies they continue to just mesmerize around prophecies and the word of god and it never gains ground men ought to pray and not to faint it is priesthood priesthood when you pray I need assistance from a realm and a dimension that is higher than the three-dimensional realm and you are able to call upon God and the Lord is nigh them that call upon him Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 says call unto me and I will answer I will answer not I will come I will answer in response to your call then I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know great and mighty things that you do not know when you pray things begin to shift in your life listen you an attack on your prayer life is a real attack listen very carefully it's an attack on your priesthood it's not just an attack on your spirituality it's an attack on your priesthood you will never be able to walk in the experience of dominion when you do not have a track record of prayer are we together yes spiritual legislature in the name of Jesus I call for destiny help us in the name of Jesus I declare my path is as a shining light it shines ever brighter this is priesthood you are in your room in the name of Jesus I program January I program February no chances no excuses I program it I declare by the Spirit of the Living God the job is coming I'm speaking listen you are not just you are not just doing some Pentecostal nonsense the word of a king has power the Bible tells you the name of Jesus ah the hand of God is upon my life I'm called Beulah Hefzibah you expect to be favored are we together and suddenly someone wakes up from his bed and starts thinking about you no sir people don't just think about people the spirit of god is moving in honor to your priesthood 
and now he's causing someone who has forgotten you three years five years how are you how is everything and you say fine you are not surprised you knew what you did how are you um it's been a while i hear you are in lagos where do you live and the holy spirit speaks to him that's not the issue give him the house i hope you i hope you 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 know that i'm not just joking i'm not just it is true you see let me tell you when you understand priesthood your life becomes a miracle and a wonder first to you and then to those who see you because physically looking at you you will not add up but you will operate by a mystery that will continue to scare people this is listen 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 this is what makes galatians 1 24 a wonder that men will glorify god in you not just for you not just through you you have become an extension of spiritual possibilities that vetoes your background vetoes anything that is supposedly a disadvantage what then is the excellency of the ministry of the holy spirit what then is the advantage of the word all of the spiritual arsenals that the saints have this is what makes us a chosen generation a peculiar people our exposure to marvelous light the light of priesthood i'm not disadvantaged it's true and it's not just by shouting it you can shout it and remain there for many years until you finally say look it looks like i'm, I'm really disadvantaged <laughs> And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Huh. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you. In you, Lord, we know there's more that's found in. Let me show you one dimension.